guys, we got the car all jacked up, as you just saw. And we're gonna be installing these bad boys. So these are the, they're technically the 2013-14 Roush uh, rear side splitters. But we are gonna make them work on here. They're a little bit too long, and I was gonna trim them. Um, but I honestly don't know if I wanna trim them. Uh, they stick out a little bit right here behind this part. I don't know, y'all probably can't even see because it's dark. But uh, they stick a little bit out the back, but it honestly kind of looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna mock them up, you know, get some, use that 3M tape to uh, stick them up there, see how it looks. If it doesn't look right, then I will cut them. I just don't wanna cut them and then mess them up to where they don't look, you know, good because they do look really good right now, obviously. Um, mm. Mm. Looking right. But uh, yeah, so they are made for the 13, 14 Mustangs, but I think they will work on here. There's really not any rear side splitters for these cars. I've looked high and low. There's one company that I saw that didn't make them. And I tried to order them and I could never get it to work. So apparently maybe they're out of business or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, I never got it to work. So I um, decided I would just order these and give them a shot. I had these on my old car. Obviously they look good on it, but uh, yeah, these, I think this will look really good with some side splitters. So uh, we're gonna stick them up there and give it a shot. All right, so this is some extra 3M I got laying around. We're gonna go ahead and stick it on there, cut it. That way I can try to line it up, see what it's the best way for it to fit. And um, then if I can get it to line up like I like, and we'll go ahead with drilling us some holes and uh, giving it, getting it mounted for good. I don't really even know how much y'all be able to see of this because it is pretty dark. Pull the car back it in. Would have made it a lot easier to see. I'm just gonna have to show y'all when I get done because uh, it's so dark. Alright, guys, well, I guess I didn't do an install video here because uh, we're done and I didn't film any of it uh, because it's pretty late and I had to turn the car around and uh, get it all done tonight. I didn't have to, but I wanted to, so um, yeah, but I'll explain to you how I did it and uh, let's check it out. So we got some, hopefully y'all can see this good, got some nice little rear side splitters on it. So now, as y'all know, we got the Cervini front lip, makes the front look great. Thank goodness Ford puts this pretty sweet looking side skirt on there already from the factory. And then, oh. There it is. Rear side skirt. Came out really good. I'm actually really happy with it. Lines up pretty dang good. I might make a separate video uh, on the daylight because I know it's probably a little hard to see, but. 
Um, let's see, let's go over here to where I actually cut it. As you can see, the basement's a freaking wreck. Let's go over here. Alright, so here's the two pieces. This is actually how much I cut off of the uh, splitter. So like I said, this is for a 2013-14 Mustang. But um, they're pretty similar. I mean, I, I got to looking at it. You know, it's, it's pretty straight. Um, this one's a little a little more angled, but uh, overall pretty similar. Um, so I figured, hey, what, what the heck, let's give it a shot. So here's how much I had to cut off because I cut them off of the front part here. So it was, let's see, that much extra. Hopefully y'all can see that much extra. Um, I cut it off the front because the back, you know, it comes with a curve on the front and the back. So the back has this good curve, and then the front does too, but the front can just be flat, so that's fine actually. Just cut this with a sawzall, and then sanded this down smooth, so it looks good. And then this kind of flows with a bumper, so that's why I decided to do cut the, the front up here instead of the back. But, um, you know, I was going to just put it as is with without cutting it. But this part was going to stick out like back here, and then there's actually holes underneath that um, one was going to stick out too far. So I was like, screw it, let's just go ahead and cut it. And uh, it turned out pretty great. So let's see if you can see the screws. Yeah, so got one, two, three, four. And um, I need to tighten this one up a little bit, but um, they got double side tape underneath the, or in between them. And uh, yeah. Turned out pretty perfect. Um, so, like I said, there's not really many options other than like custom making your own for a rear side splitter on the S550. I don't know how good this video is going to show it, um, but it does look really good. And um, I don't know if I said in my last video, I do like how the base model has got the whole thing painted. So it's really grown on me. I, you know, it's. I don't know what it is. It's I just. I think it looks good. All all grab blue. So, um, but it did need some side splitters. And uh, yeah. So now we got that. So if you're wanting some side splitters for your S550 Mustang, just pick up the 1314 Roush side splitters. Give them a little cut. Uh, you gotta measure them how you want. Drill them out. And uh, yeah, so now you know, so now it's got a uh, you know little side skirts on the front side and the back side or the rear side splitters. So yeah, y'all, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will do my best to answer them, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Yeah.